This is the story of some pets I once had. When I was just a little, little kid, kid, some of my friends got pet rocks. They were pretty cool. My dad wouldn't let me get one. He said he wasn't going to pay for a stupid rock, but he just didn't get it. Actually, some of them were pretty smart. Plus, there was the fact that his whole income came from selling rocks since he worked in a quarry. I decided to go out back to the woods behind our house to find my own wild rock. And sure enough, I found a whole colony at the bottom of a hill. I looked around until I saw him. The one for me. He was just laying there with his friends. I carefully picked him up and held him. It just felt right. I named him Flint. We had a great time playing around the house. I taught him tricks like stay and sit. He even learned to roll over with a little bit of help. Sometimes it got a bit rough and I had a few bruises, but they were the happiest times. These were the salad days. One morning, I got up and went to play with Flint. He was cracked. We must have played too hard or something. And overnight, he just cracked and died. I grabbed a hammer and chisel and did a quick autopsy. But I couldn't tell why he died. So I decided to bury Flint in our backyard. As I dug a hole, I found a horrible thing. There are dozens of dead rocks already buried back there. It was a mass grave! I thought, well, at least he'll be with his own kind. So I buried him with the rest of the rocks. I really missed Flint and all the fun times we had. I really wanted to get another pet rock. We had an old fish aquarium we weren't using, so I decided to get an underwater rock and keep it in there. So I went down to the lake and looked around. Sure enough, there were a bunch of underwater rocks just laying around doing nothing. I looked and looked. Finally, I found the perfect one. I scooped her up. I put her in a coffee can full of water and took her home. She looked very happy once I got her set up in the aquarium. I named her Jade. Jade was very playful. And we had fun goofing around in that aquarium. I tried to teach her how to swim, but she seemed to like being on the bottom much more. One morning I got up and went to play with Jade. And discovered that all the water had leaked out of the aquarium. We must have cracked it last night while playing. And there was poor Jade, laying at the bottom all dried up. I was so sad. I lifted her poor dry body out of the aquarium. And suddenly I made an amazing discovery! She was okay! She was an amphibian! We played all around the house. It was like Flint again! We had so much fun. She really loved chasing the cat. But he didn't seem to enjoy it much. So I had to keep Jade distracted when he was around. She slept in the aquarium at night, but she was free to roam around the house during the day. It was the salad days all over again. After a while, I began to worry. What if the same thing that happened to Flint happened to Jade? I couldn't stand the thought of burying her in that pit of horror in the backyard. Plus, she was a wild rock. As much as we had bonded and enjoyed our time together, she needed her freedom. So I decided to take her back to the lake. I held her on the shore for a while as we said goodbye. Then I carefully threw her into the lake. A guy floating on an air mattress must have startled her because she really went after him before plopping into the water and vanishing. I just turned away. She sank to the bottom and I, I suppose, suppose she's still there to this day. Well, that's my story.